So, uh, can you walk me through uh, a typical day in summer camp? Okay, so the day would start at like 8 o'clock, and then what happens first is you meet at the homeroom. Each, there's five different homerooms, and then each homeroom has around 25 kids. And then the kids will all turn in their homework at the first thing in the morning, and then they'll all go off to a lecture in the gigantic lecture hall with all like 120 kids. And then you'll sit there and lecture for like an hour or two hours, depending on what you're doing. Then if the day is the lab day, you'll go back, or you'll have lunch, you'll go back, do your lab, and then have a question answer session. The day usually always ends with a question answer session. If it's not a lab day, you'll have a second lecture in the afternoon. But it's uh, a mixture between small group, small homeroom with like 20, 25 people of labs and question answer sessions, and then the gigantic lecture hall of 120 people. Uh, can you describe the pacing of the class? So uh, how many units per week usually? Um, or how long per unit? Okay, so there's around like I'd say 10 units total and then you spend like, or not 10, 10, 15 units total and you spend like two, three days on each unit. In contrast to regular chem in which you do three weeks per unit because you have the time to do that. Um, I think in terms of like timing, it's very fast paced and you have to actually be able to understand the first time through. Um, can you describe the difference between regular uh, and summer chem since you've been or you've uh, observed both? Yeah, so for regular chem, it's very like slow paced. If you don't understand things the first time through, you can ask questions. Not that you can't ask questions in summer chem, you definitely should ask questions then. But for summer chem, it's like if you don't understand the lecture, you're either going to have to find help on your own or you're going to have to read the textbook thoroughly. But if you don't understand it the first time through, you need to find a way to understand it further on. For regular chem, there's always an option to go back through the lecture, but there's just not that luxury in summer chem. Uh, beyond the difficulty that comes with the pacing, is there like a significant difference in the difficulty between the content of summer chem and regular chem? I would say for summer chem, it's different in that there are five different teachers, so the teachers rotate units, and each teacher has a different style of teaching. So, for example, if you're with Dr. Aceo, he'll teach, um, he teaches usually solutions and acid-based, so that's a lot of math-based um, math based concept. But then with uh, Ms. Taylor, who taught bonding the last time, it was very conceptual. So in terms of... Um, the subject matter, you have a lot of different exposure to different like types of chemistry in that sometimes you do mostly math, mostly concept. It's a mixture of both and that can be a little challenging for some students. Uh, do you think summer chem uh, prepares students well for AP Chem? I think so, yes, because summer chem is fast paced so if you understand the chemistry then you will um, know what you're doing in AP Chem, but if you don't understand it I don't know what to say. Um, uh, what were some of the traits or like study habits that uh, the students that you found did best in had? Okay, so chemistry in and of itself is both qualitative and quantitative at the same time. It's not like bio where it's mostly memorizing facts. It's not like physics where it's just doing a bunch of math problems. It's a combination of both. If you don't understand the concept, you won't be able to know which equation to use. If you don't understand the equation, you won't be able to apply what you learn to answer the questions. So I'd say the students that did the best, they were able to successfully understand the concept while also applying it at the same time. Uh, before we end, is there any special advice that you give to a student that is considering taking summer chemistry? Uh, your summer kind of goes away, which is unfortunate. <laughs> my summer went away but what you do you actually learn a lot and I think it's really exciting and if you are seriously considering summer chem I think you should um, in terms of the material you should read ahead start reading the packet that he that Dr. Aceo will give out and start doing that and just get ready for uh, it'll be a good summer but you'll learn a lot but it'll also be really tiring